Hello YouTube, welcome to my next app review. So before I get started, I just wanted to say that I know I haven't made a video in a while. I actually tried to do the same review with these same apps a couple of weeks ago. And then my camera completely erased the video after I'd already finished it. So I kind of got discouraged after that and I kind of felt like I didn't really want to do it anymore. Um, and also I've just been really busy with a new job and everything. So I kind of took a break, but you know, I, I, I'm still getting questions and stuff on my, some of my videos. So I felt like maybe it's time to start. Okay, doing it so again. let's get started. So this first app is called Software Data Cable. This is a pretty um, cool app. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you say you have some music or some pictures on your phone and you decide that you want to put them on a the camera, but you know you don't want to email the pictures to yourself because you have a whole bunch of them, you know, a whole certain album that you um, want to, you know, or you don't want to hook the USB cord up to the computer and to your phone. This app eliminates the use of cords so you can transfer it all wirelessly you can transfer any uh information you want any files you want um directly to your computer without having to plug it in and when you first start it it's going to tell you the directions but pretty much so what you got to do is uh you just want to press start service and then you'll come up with this link and or you'll you know everybody's going to get a different uh, link but that link is going to be what you put into your computer um let's see as it tells you here help and facts uh so you open Windows Explorer for Windows XP and it tells you how to do it differently if you have Windows 7 or Vista. And you type it in the address as you can see from that picture. So you type that in and then your computer is connected and then you can just transfer files. You have to only do it but from your you phone to your computer. So it's really useful also if you have you know pictures or music or something else from your computer that you want so to put on. So this is a file transfer protocol mm. so it's it's not really super secure but if you know the stuff isn't really private then it gets it pretty much gets the job done and does what you're looking for and I'm not going to test it because I don't have my computer in front of me but I have tested it and it does so. work. Next app we have is scanner radio this is a pro version because I got it uh, for free once on Amazon or something I believe but they do have a free version the only difference is that this one actually let's see has like on this screen the only difference is that this one you can actually chat as you can see right there chat rooms um, so that's, you can talk with other people, so that's pretty much the only difference. But I already have it set up. Um, I didn't do my location. I did a different one near me. So you, but you can go to near me. And as you can see, it'll come up with all these less than 25 miles away. Or 50 plus miles away and then you can choose or you can go to you know you can favorite a station and you can favorite go back to here to favorites and you can go directly to that but um, so uh, pretty much what this app is it's, it's, it's just a police scanner you know I know actually quite a few people who uh, enjoy listening to police scanners just to to keep up on the news and the information um about like fires or burglaries or anything else in their um, in their area so this is an, a now i guess it's not just a police scanner it's an emergency medical services uh scanner so and 
they do have the free version so you know if you're really interested in keeping up on what's going on um then you can use this on your phone without having to go and buy a, a police scanner because those are kind of expensive um i have it on right now it's on the santa barbara county sheriff and fire and there you go you can hear them um it works great you know gets really good reception and you know you can you can leave it on so you can just close this app you know and you can have it on in the background as you can see it's running up here so as you can see yeah it's 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 still running up here and i have the app closed so you know you can still go about your business and you can just have it on or you can mute it so that's pretty much it close up for right now uh, and then right here it's easy you can just stop or pause is pixel r omatic yep okay well i'm sorry i'll have to do this in another one i did not know that it was going to force close um i've never had a problem with it before it's always worked life 360 this one is a really helpful app for um, families and what this is is it, it pretty much integrates with google maps except that you can add family members like down here and you can communicate with them they can check in using this uh, button the screen button log in and let your family members know where you are um or you can go like here to plus and then you know you can add into the information of the person so you can just do this you know add their phone number and their name and if they continue to check in you'll know where they're at um, or if even if they have their GPS on uh, you'll get frequent updates as but to what I like where about this at. is that it's sorry it's a little bit different than Google Maps because it tells you uh, different like emergency services or possible hazards in the area so as you can see all these little guys are sex offenders <laughs> so yeah I uh, kind of have quite a few sex offenders living around me um, and if you click on one it actually comes up with their picture and it even tells you what their charges are so you know there's all these this is a fire station near me and this is a hospital and these are um, police stations or you know if you if there's like a fire you know, for then example show say up here you know with the symbol for but fire. another good thing about this app is, is that you know say you're driving and it, you know you something happens you know you see an animal on the road you try and swerve you run into a tree you know you're you can't you can't move or something and no one else is around uh, this is really cool because if you have family members added, all you need to do is click on this button and then it says you're about to panic. So I've actually tested this with Rings. my other family um, member and even if they ignore it, um, it doesn't, it doesn't come up as me calling. It comes up as a different number. So, you know, the, the person might not answer because they don't recognize the number, but even if the person ignores it, then it will come up with a message um, on the phone, like up here in this bar. Uh, you'll get this little Live 360 thing. And then, uh, see, your family was told you are safe. So that's what this happens if they have it too, but you'll, you'll get in uh, panic mode. This person is in trouble um or something so even if they don't answer it they'll see that and they can be able they'll be able to check your location with, with your okay. gps this next one is called iCookbook. this is a paid app but i really like it and i actually got this one for free one day for the uh amazon app of the week but i feel like i have to share it i think believe it's 2.99 um since i got it for free i'm not really sure but if you're really into cooking, then this is a really cool app. Uh, you start off with these pictures. Um, that's what's good about this app is that every single recipe has a picture with it so that you can actually 
see what um, it is. And how these are these look. are just like everything. These are the list of all the dishes that they have. And as you can see, I scrolled that far, and I'm only uh, that far down the screen. So, or you can go over here if you don't want to search through all of them. Dish, in alphabetical and you order. can come up, you can choose. You know, do you want to search for appetizers and snacks, or beverages, main dishes, desserts? Um, let's just go to main dishes. And then all of the main dishes will pop up. And then if you want to make it even more narrowed down, you can go to and then ingredient. It comes up. You get the options of beans, beef, chocolate. Let's just go to poultry. And then, so now it narrows it down. So it's main dishes with poultry. Or you can mm -hmm. choose a theme. Or occasion or brand. Um, or you can go to down here. You can go to conversion. Let's do something else. Timer search or my recipes. You can save specific recipes. You can so it's like a favorites, um, and you can go there and you can choose from there. Um, so all you need to do is when you go into the recipe, uh, see it shows you a picture, and if you click on the picture, it gets bigger. Um, and over here, it has um, the, it's the theme. Really, it's a cheap dish to make, and it's really easy to make. Um, you can make. You can even add your own little notes. Here, you know, you might want to, you know, maybe say it was really good, but I needed to add more pepper or something. Um, and if you want to favorite it, you just click on that star. You can see mine this is, is definitely highlighted. a really good app. And what I like about it is that it has the pictures so you can see how it's supposed to be. So, you know, you know, it might sound good, but it might not necessarily look good. And, you know, I know it's hard, kind of hard to swallow down a food that doesn't really look good, even if it could be the best thing. Ever. The so there's spotted. that app and this is like really helpful if you're new to an area or you're visiting someplace and you don't know um, anything that's around so it's kind of like uh, places for food like Google places or um, and then you can Yelp. go by food nearby latest best or wanted so you can put like oh I feel like having a hamburger and then it'll tell you all the places in the area that have hamburgers but what I like about this app is they actually have pictures so you know you can decide what you think you know looks best and these are the most recent pictures that they have of places that are near you so as it says the uh, aloha cafe is point three five miles away Even from my here, location i'm not going to show you the address but yeah the location is down there and so you can see pictures and it tells you where to get it so if something like that something looks really good and that's how it's different from Yelp. That's so all you or need to do is take places. a picture. If you're at a place you want to take a picture, you use that, you know, you press that camera icon and you can take a picture. Or you can do uh, best. So it might not be close to me, but these are going to be things that have been rated the so best. So as you can see, you know, if you you might just be hungry, driving down the street, you're like, oh, I want to know what but, there is to eat. Or if you press eat. the back button, you get all this. You can find certain dishes or you can recommend dishes. Um, follow people, view your own profile, sign in. I haven't. Um, I've done actually that had yet. a lot of people ask me what my lock screen is. So what is what what is the screen? How that I, I have, have to move here. it up in order to unlock or my I phone. Or I can drag one of my icons that I have here. Let's go to uh, camera into the ring, and it opens that app specifically, and and. This lock screen is came stock with HTC Sense. So, you know, this is a lock screen that a lot of people want, but necessarily they don't have an HTC phone. They might have Samsung or Motorola um, or something. But I actually found an app that gives the people who do not have HTC Sense or an HTC phone um, lets you have this lock screen. It's called Agile Lock. What you do is really easy. All you do is press start. So let me show you before I do that. This is my normal lock screen. And, okay. It's, all you have to do is press start. And it, it's running. So now, 
it's different. As you can see, the ring is a little bit smaller, and these icons, um, um, and change. that's, you know, that's it. That's all you need to do, and then if you don't want to want it anymore, you press, you just need to press stop. And they do have settings here, but because this is a free version, it doesn't give you, like, uh... Any settings at all. See, it says you cannot use all the settings. Um, but the settings are, they do have a paid version. I believe it's I think $1 it's... $1.99. But, you know, that you should be able to change, like, the size of the ring or change these icons here. That's what I can do with my lock. Um, send my standard lock. I can change which yeah, icon definitely I want to go if here. you like the lock screen it's a good app um to have and what i really like about it is that you don't have to download anything so you i mean you have to download the app but you don't have to download uh, lock you don't have to like change you your lock decide that you can have this installed and it's it's as simple as pressing a button stopping or starting it so you decide you know you might not want it for a couple of days all you need to do is press stop and you want it again, you just press start. It's, it's, it's a lock simple screen as that. something that you're interested in and you don't have it. You know, it's definitely worth a shot. And this is a lock screen that can work with any Android phone. So you do not have to have HTC Sense or even an HTC phone. Please comment, in order rate, to and subscribe. That. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will answer them or I'll address them in another video. Um... Alright, bye.